Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I thought I would quickly show you how I made these no sew stockings so if you're interested then keep on watching. For this you'll need some white fabric, some hessian or burlap, some newspaper, some scissors, a glue gun and lots of glue sticks and then anything you fancy just to decorate your stocking with. First of all you need to make a template. I just used some newspaper and one of the stockings I'd already made which I've made a few years ago but you can just get a template from Google which is what I did originally anyway. I also left a couple of centimetres extra around the outside so that there is enough for seam allowance for when you're gluing. Next take your white fabric and lay your template on there and you need to cut around the template. I also left about 10 centimetres at the top of the stocking as the extra bit that folds over the top. It doesn't matter about the edges on this because obviously they're going to be on the inside. Make sure the fabric is folded in two as well so that you're left with two at the end like so and then just put that to the side for a moment. Do exactly the same with the hessian and the burlap again folded in half so you've got two at the end one for the front one for the back. There's no need to leave any extra on the top of this one either. Get the inner white pieces back and you need to hot glue all the way around the outside and press them together firmly ensuring you don't leave any gaps anywhere. Once again do exactly the same with the hessian pieces. This was very hot when pressing down with my fingers obviously with the little holes in the fabric so I eventually ended up using a ruler but you can use anything just to press it down. Again just make sure there's no gaps anywhere, you don't want anything falling out of the stocking. I then just turned it back to be the right way around and straightened it all out to try to get as much of the fabric out as possible. Next you need to put the inner pieces still inside out inside the stocking. I hope that makes sense but you need it so that once the tops are turned down that the right sides are facing outwards so that you've got a nice inside rather than all of the nasty bits sticking out on the inside. And you need to make a little hole so that you can insert a little ribbon so that you can hang your stocking up. It would probably make more sense to leave a tiny little hole when you're actually gluing it but I was a bit dippy and I didn't do that so there's a little tip if you are going to make this, just leave a little hole and then make sure you push the bit you want to hang through to the inside and then glue it. That way when you turn the tops back down it will be hanging the right way. And you will have something that looks a bit like this. And then you just need to fold them top pieces over, straighten them out, try to align the seams up as best as possible. And then fold the nasty edges down to try to make them as straight as possible. And next you just then want to glue around them edges, again trying to make them as straight as possible. So that when it's folded back down you will have something that looks a bit like this and all the nice bits will be on the inside of the stocking. Next just take the bits and pieces you want to decorate your stocking with. I tried a few different things to see what I liked. I wanted to do a bit of a combination between mine and Gary's stocking for Mia's. So I used some red ribbon, some red glittery ribbon, a couple of buttons and of course the M for Mia. But you could use anything you wanted. The majority of all this stuff I just got from eBay. And then go ahead and glue all of the pieces together. This full thing you could also do by hand or on the sewing machine. The first two mine and Gary's I actually did do on the sewing machine but my sewing machine's broken at the moment so I thought I would just do it with a hot glue gun.
all the buttons I only glued around the outside of the buttons just so that I didn't get any glue where the little holes are because I'd like to then just put a little bit of stitching on the inside just because I like the look of that. That's an optional step but it just really doesn't matter, it's just because I've done it on the other two so I wanted them to match. I just added a little bit of ribbon to hang down and cut in a little couple of triangles just for a bit of finishing touches. And they have a completed no sew Christmas stocking. Like I say, you could use a sewing machine or do it by hand, it really doesn't matter. I just thought this would be a nice, quick, easy option, especially if you don't know how to use a sewing machine or if you just need it to be really quick. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Thanks, bye!